All right, guys, Callie in our Bargain Junction, Georgia location. I did pin that address if you are wondering where we are. So I'm going to start off with pallets today, and then I'm going to roll over to retail. I'll try to show you everything, but we do have quite a bit, so I can't go into detail with everything. So I'm going to start off with our outdoor power tool, since that's the most in-season pallets around. This is going to have bigger items like lawnmowers, tillers. I have seen some augers in here as well. I'm going to try to show you the price as I try to tell you everything on it. Again, we have a lot of items, so I can't go into detail with everything. We got auger right here. I believe that's Legend Force brand, if I'm not mistaken. We have some Ryobi battery powered push mowers. All of our pallets and retail are listed online, so you can check that out if you don't feel like coming in. We got a Toro push mower, I believe. A couple of those. Yard Machine brand. A Honda. The, the, wow, that was crazy. Behind me, we have some tool and hardware pallets. The price is on the other side, so give me just a second to walk around. And these are manifested. That means it has a list of everything on it. Along with the estimated retail value of each item. Have some Ryobi weed eaters on here. Looks like a shop vac. I'm not sure what brand that is. An air mattress. I believe that's a queen. This one, I believe, had an outdoor... Um, I don't know the proper name for it, but it's basically an umbrella. I don't know if it's called something fancy. It has some lawn chairs. I know that glare is really bad. Rigid shop vac. Some outdoor cushions on this one. An O-seater mop. It does have some smaller items in here. Um, again, I'm just trying to glance over it since I'm showing y'all the whole store today. So in these bins will be your smaller items. Like some door locks. I've seen some hand tools in here. And if you can't tell everything on the pallet, again, this is what this list is. It's everything on the pallet. Another weed eater. Behind me, I have some mixed retailer pallets with some blondes on there. This looks like a gate. I think this is a pet carrier. This one's pretty tall, but it is considered bedding. And when I say bedding, I don't mean things like sheets. It's like mattress toppers. We have one food pallet left. It's got some drinks and food in there. It's more like snack items for food. Then we have this Rockstar pallet. It's all Rockstar brand energy drinks. Um, mostly it is original flavor, but it does have a mixture of other flavors in there as well. Then I have my mediums. My mediums all go for $4.49 and they do have a multi pallet discount on there. Something about a fabulous party. Um, Pet cold cups. I'm going to say those are disposable cups. I have several of these available, as you can tell. I see a Hoover mop sticking out. Or this is not a mop. Haha, <laughs> this is a vacuum. This, I cannot tell what it is.
I can't read from this angle. I'm sorry, guys. I hope y'all can read that. My phone can reach further than me. A really nice folding indoor chair. These are considered general merchandise pallets, so they're mixed with a little bit of everything. I've seen some electronics. That's what this battery symbol will mean right here, something electronic. I'm not sure what this box is. Oh, I can't grab it. Okay. This is a portable freezer. Those have been selling really well for us lately. We got some keyboards in here. Ceiling fans. Everyone's trying to look for a ceiling fan right now. Here's my sporting good palette. It has things like treadmills on here. Um, I've seen crazy things like cigar cabinets, like this one right here. Some pet gates and fences. A desk. These all go for $4.99. Same deal with a multi palette. Here's a little kennel, a dog kennel. There's lots of trampolines throughout this load. I know that glare's bad. Let me see if I can show you what kind of trampoline. So. I have several of these available as well. And then over on this side, I have some Amali handbag palettes. These are manifested. Again, manifest just means that it has a list of every item in there. And these vary in price depending on what's in it. So it's got handbags and jewelry in here. The jewelry kind of matches the handbags. I'm not going to grab it because if I do, I'm probably going to fall in here. Again, I'm really short. A lot of the bigger bags are wicker or twine, whichever you call it. Here's some of that jewelry. A couple of these left. Behind me is more of my mediums. Over here is my home improvement palette. So this is going to be like your vanities, um, more ceiling fans. Good bit of furniture in here as well. These all range in price. Some bathtubs and grills. I have some Christmas stuff. Right here is a Christmas tree. Some vanities. I think there's a couple more toilets left. Utility cabinets. I'm trying to show you all the price as I pass them. I know I'm going pretty fast. Good morning, Dale. How are you? Gas cans. Greenworks pressure washer and a Craftsman shop vac. O cedar mops. I can't keep those on our retail. It continues one more row with the home improvement palettes. This I believe is a mirror. And then I have some furniture palettes. These are all $4.49. I'm doing pretty good today. It's still hot in Georgia, but other than that, I'm doing really well.
trash cans, a party tent. I've seen a couple office chairs throughout this load. And these are all pretty plain generic boxes, so we did try to print them out of what they are. Uh, we didn't print out every single picture, but you can look up these numbers and letters and it will pull up exactly what it is. That is true, but I get to complain more because I'm in this warehouse. Ferret cage, those retail pretty well. I think the last one we sold was in the 200s. Looks like a full set of dining room chairs. And that pretty much sums up all of my pallets. Again, these are all listed online, so you can check that out in more detail, or you can come in. We do not have just shoe pallets. Uh, most of our pallets are general merchandise. Our Missouri location might have some clothing. Um, Georgia doesn't really have a whole lot of clothing left. Right here is my case pack section, and then I will go over to retail. So starting off, I have this case of 10. It's um, a little picnic table with a mustard and ketchup condiment holder. And these go for $9.99. Again, that's for 10 of these. And then have one box of 60 of the ketchup and mustard bottles, so 30 of each. I have some Christmas case packs, but I'll have to walk over there. We're going to finish off with this side, and then we'll go over to the other side. And then I have some lawn chairs. Um, it's four in a box for $39.99. And it is all the gray ones. I do have a couple stragglers, of course, but they are mostly gray. Power tools would be over here. I do have individual power tools as well, if that's what you were asking. So as of right now, I have four power tool pallets, and these are manifested, so I have more coming. Um, they will be available, if not by the end of the day today, then they will be available first thing tomorrow. So these are going to have like shop vacs in there. I've seen, I'm seeing some husky, maybe a ratchet. I'm not really good with tools, so sorry if I call that the wrong item. I've seen torque wrenches in here, uh, looks like a socket set from what I can see. We do deliver, um, it depends on which pallet you're getting on the rate we would charge. So you can go online and check out the pallets and just let us know which one you want and we can give you a shipping quote or you can come in and select them. back to the cases so I have these cases of cards these playing cards um, I really like them because they're waterproof and they are I don't think I have one out okay I'll show you that in just a second so they're gold some packs and other packs are silver they look like dollar bills again give me just a second to show y'all some Christmas rugs they say Feliz Navidad We have these kids' chairs. They are kids' chairs, so they are really small. And then I have these cases of pools. So this is what the individual box looks like. One case comes with 10 of these. And I believe it is right here. Okay, $75 per case. Or if you get multiple, we'll drop it down to $65 each. And, of course, we do sell by the pallet, as you can see on that paper right there. So these have been selling like crazy. Um, both individually and by the case. And I have some hug monsters. So these are these stuffed animals. Hang on, I'm short. Okay. Let's not drop it on me. There we go. Okay. So these are called hug monsters. That is the name of the company and the brand. These are the only stuffed animals I have right now. Um, I believe the paper's on the other side, so I'll show you the price on these in just a second. 
sell them by the case and or by the whole palette. I have one palette left. Okay, so here's some of these Christmas case packs I have. I was taping them up, so I did manifest these. They are listed online. So this first one right here is just Christmas hats, but they do come with a little, um, I think it's Duck Dynasty toothbrush on each. And it's 20 of each color, 20 red, 20 camo. And this one is a case of stockings. And it's kind of hard to see on camera, but I did actually manifest it. So it's 15 of the camo with flashlights, etc. That's listed online, so you can see the full manifest or you can come in and see this paper. We are open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Sunday, 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. I'm going to show you guys these playing cards real quick, and then we'll jump into retail. So right here, they are gold and silver. It's 32 decks whenever you buy the case. Obviously, you can see that we have them individually. Um, let's see if I can open this one-handed. There we go. Cool, the ace is my favorite. So you can see it's a very chrome, metallic color. Gold is the same idea, just gold. They're waterproof and all kinds of fancy. So whether you're a collector or you just like cards. Individually we have them for $2.99 per box. By the case, I think I think it was like a little over a dollar a box. Again, list it online, guys. Alright, so as you can see in the retail, we start off with a bunch of grabbables. So we got some coloring books, um, some gift baskets, and then we have these LOL. They're considered party favors, um, but everyone's bought them just as individual gifts, which I definitely understand it's a cute little grabbable item and it'll keep the kids from harassing you throughout the whole store. And then we do have these drinks. I know it's kind of foggy, but I have some Rockstar energy drinks and some waters. I'm getting low on that. I'll have to refill that. So for two, it's $1.99. Then over here, I have some of the Amali handbags individually for sale. As you can see, each style is completely different. Some handbags or some beach bags. And behind me, I have some cute little home decor shelves and knickknacks. I don't know exactly what to classify these in. Um, some golden bugs, lots of candles. You guys have been loving my candles, so I am getting low on those. Up here, I have these little washing machines meant to hold your dry powder then it goes down to my bathroom section so I have some fans faucet sinks a something about drops a shower rod some more home decor some planners And we have been trying to write on the box what is missing about them. Of course, you can open the box on the retail side. Again, on the retail side, not on the pallet side. A couple ceiling fans left. Quick set locks and some hardware. Allen and Roth light fixtures and um, other lights. Some more light fixtures of different brands. Walking backwards, trying not to trip. I have some air filters, different sizes. I sell some of them individually, others by the full box. Depends on how it came to us, really. 
Then I have some sporting good items. So right here is a net for you to practice your golfing. Some yoga mats. And then I have um, one treadmill up here. And then you can see all my exercise bikes. Then I have these rugs for $42.99. And then I have smaller welcome rugs or kitchen rugs, just the small rugs for I believe $3.99, yep. Movies. For 10 of them it is $9.99. I have some pool floats left. Um, here is a pool speaker. Some bubbles. Here's those pools I was telling you about available in the case section. Right now I have one toolbox left, but we are going to have some more soon. And then I have a couple different workbenches available. And then I have these boxes. One by Dewalt, a couple by Husky. And I have several, several different shop vacs. I think my biggest one is a 16 gallon. I could have one bigger, but I think that's the biggest one. And I think my smallest one is a four gallon. And you can see I have different styles of each size. We have some rigid drills. Milwaukee, I think this is a impact. Again, I do not mess with tools. I apologize if I called it the wrong thing. These orange boxes right here are nailers that I can't pop open, so we're going to have to use our imagination. Um, these are listed online if you wanted to check those out. Some replacement blades for your lawnmower. A couple different batteries. Blowers and weed eaters and edgers. Up here, I have no clue what happened right here. I'll fix that when I have two hands. But we have some picks. And those chaotic things sticking out are brooms. Lawn shoes so you can spike your ground. I think it's to make your uh, ground softer. This is a table saw. I want to call, okay, yes, a wet tile saw. What I just bumped into is a tool cabinet, or I guess just a garage cabinet. I have some wall cabinets available as well. I have one black one, I think. No, I have three black and two red. And this top one is a four cabinet. Some pack outs. And then I have these fountains with a disappearing water feature. So it looks like it just fades off into these rocks. Two grills left at the moment several push mowers. Um, the Ryobi, I believe, are all battery powered. And then I have some Toro that are gas powered. Looks like I have one self-propelled left.
Then I have these Echo Chainsaws. And a gas blower up top. I have a couple different size camper covers. I think this is the bigger one for 35 foot to 38 foot. Then I have some car items. Over here is my furniture section. So this is going to be my bigger items like this vanity. I have some sinks in here. Behind me are some microwaves and some mini fridges. Then it goes to my bathtubs and I think I still have a shower base left. Put it somewhere. There it is. So here's the shower base. Then right here is a toilet. Different style chairs from bar stools to just a single rocking chair. And I have a couple different sofas. You can peel this back to look at it. I uh, just kept it over here to protect it from the dust because it is very soft. A sectional. I think I have two of those. Yep, here's my other one. Some dressers. This is considered a buffet table. I didn't point out that we did have a couple pressure washers in here as well. couple hats. I do have several different kinds of hmm, hair styling equipment, I guess. <laughs> um, so from straighteners to curlers, different brands, Oso Kind, Revlon. I have some clippers at the very top. Remington, I think I have Kiss still left in here. Here we go. So it's a wet to style curler and then I have these electric brushes I have several different kinds of these that's what's on the bottom right here some day and night caps disposable forks and spoons I have some ziploc bags dish towels and hand towels what the difference is I will not know but the tag will say if it's a dish towel or a hand towel if you know the difference a stroller that you can attach to your bike it is missing the shade but I believe that is the only thing missing on it I have some Pantene and finesse shampoo And then I have toothpaste and hand sanitizer, cleaning supplies, blackout curtains and other bedding and home air mattresses. Some very fluffy pillows. A water softener. Here is the technically medical section. So I have some adult diapers, some masks left, some medicine in here. 
Epsom salt. And then I have kids' diapers. I have a couple baby wipes left. Next to the baby section, I do have toys. Toys for all ages. And then coffee pots because we're tired of our kids playing with toys. Trash cans, dishes, different cups for our coffee, a couple different styles of bouncy balls, this I believe is a bounce house but it is missing its blower. We have inflated it. Um, I don't remember if there was any damage on it. In that little wagon right there is some kites. Behind me are some different style bubbles. So as you can see, I have several dinosaur and then I have a couple of frogs, flowers, ducks. Looks like I'm almost out of the unicorn. And then some big bubble wands at the very bottom. And on that note, I believe I've shown y'all my entire store. So I'm going to give y'all just a second to ask me to go over anything again. Other than that, I'm getting ready to jump off here. Any pallets y'all wanted to see again? If not, y'all can check out our online store if you didn't feel like bugging me. So it looks like I talked your heads off. So on that note, I'm going to end it here and y'all have a good day.